Hey my beautiful Leo peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cancel Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you with your May 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. Just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal services, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, cancelmoonstarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below. I do want to mention there's a spring sale going on, so if you want to get a 15-minute personal reading with me at a 20% discounted rate, feel free to use code POPPIN, that's going to be P-O-P-P-I-N, for 20% off at checkout. But Leo, how you you doing hope all is well and let's see what's going on here with you what do we got showing up here for leo sun moon rising venus throughout may 2023 what information is rolling up here please for the zodiac signs of leo sun moon rising venus throughout may 2023 let's go ahead and check it out starting out with the overall energy of your reading we start your reading here with the ten of pentacles so a lot of comfort showing up here at this time something about family you might have a new addition to the family this could be about pregnancy maybe you're having your first child uh definitely could be coming in the month of may so congratulations to a happy taurus uh but regardless um Definitely the energy of family, comfortability. You're really focused on finding your comfort this month is what it feels, okay? You want to stay in your comfort zone and you want to enjoy life a little bit, you know? I think that you've done a lot of pioneering and adventuring and you've done a lot of really cool stuff, Leo. I think a lot of Leos live a pretty rad life. Uh, but besides that factor, it's nice to just sit down and relax a bit, you know? I think that that's what's happening here. So May 2023 is like taking a breather, you know, is what it feels here so far. Having a look into your current situation, let's check that out and see what's showing up here at this time. We have here the Page of Cups, we have here the Nine of Cups, and lastly, we have here the Nine of Swords. I think there's a bit of concern showing up though for you, Leo, in reference to chillaxing and being a little bit more in your comfort zone. Page of Cups is a card here that represents that you're in a space right now where you want to give your energy back to you. Nine of Cups is following up with that page. So you want to give your energy back to yourself and you want to make sure that you're not only enjoying yourself, but you're enjoying the comfort that you're building here. It's like you've built an empire. Now you should enjoy it, right? Uh, there's a scene from Game of Thrones with Daenerys Targaryen where it was like, I forget who asks her, like, well, what do we do now? And she's like, well, now we rule, right? You know, after she's been conquering all these different types of cities and kingdoms, you know, she finally gets to a place and she's like, well, now it's time to rule, you know, no more conquering. Let's let's do what we did. You know, we worked hard to get to where we are. Let's start to rule and let's start to relax. So I kind of feel like that's where you're at right now, Leo. It's like you have done so much to get to where you are today. Let's enjoy it. But then in comes the fear with the Nine of Swords of stopping the progression or stopping the energy of forward movement. You know, I think that now that you're in a place where you're trying to enjoy the fruits of your labor, it freaks you out or worries you a little bit. It's like, can I do this? Can I afford to enjoy myself when life's a bitch and I got tons of other things to do or take care of? So there's a little bit of nervousness showing up at this time. Clarify the Nine of Swords. What is it Leo's most nervous about? Ace of Wands here, Queen of Swords here as well, missing out on opportunities or missing out on more that you can create for your future. I do see for some Leos, you might be worried to, uh, to retire. You might be at the, the right age of retirement, but there might be a part of you that wants to still continue to work for a couple more years to make more money to put into a retirement account. So you might be at that time where it's like, I know I can retire now, but I don't know. I just want extra, extra security. Uh, so I get the feeling here for you, Leo, is that what you feel is at risk is your security. It's like, if I stop now, what if my security goes to shit? What if I don't have everything I worked so hard to have because I stopped or because I slowed down a bit? you know? But I think that inevitably we got to remember we have to enjoy our lives and we have to enjoy the kingdom we've built. I'm going to use that as an example. The kingdom we built, we got to enjoy it. We put all the fucking hard work in. When are we going to enjoy it? On our deathbed? You know, I think that that's unfortunately the culture, at least in America, right? We are going to work our ass off 24 seven over and over and over again. So one day when we're 65, we can enjoy retirement, even though all of our life has been pissed away from fucking working. At the end of the day, guys, even if we're at this point where we're worried about our security being breached, we have to enjoy the kingdom we've created one way or another, you know? So I see that there's a little bit of worries here, but I feel like you truly have nothing to worry about. All right, let's hop on and see, Leo, what you need to be aware about here this month. Having a look at the first card, Page of Swords. Next card is going to be the Two of Cups. Then we also have here the Fool 
And let's get two more. That's going to be a five of cups followed up here with a knight of wands. Okay. So Leo's page of swords. That's my card in the tarot of being hesitant, not going for something, feeling worried to take action. Now, two of cups. This is your desires. This is what you want. This is what you feel connected to. So I think one of the things to be aware about is hesitancy is not going to get you to where you want to go. Being nervous and worried is going to push you further away from having what you want. Do not hold back. Do not be hesitant. Do things with ease this month and don't freak out. I know that the worries and fears may rise, but don't allow that to deter you from enjoying yourself. We have here the Fool card. Fool card says, fuck it. Just let go, let loose, and everything's going to be okay. So find a way to let go of the fear. <clears throat> Excuse me. However that may be for you, because there's a way. I'm not sure what works for you personally, but find a way to let go of the fear. You know, one of the number one things you can do is start becoming more present. The more present you are to the moment, the less you fear, because fear is just constantly living in the state of the future, you know, instead of living in the actual reality that's happening and unfolding right before your very eyes. Now we have here five of cups. We have here knight of wands. I think that at the same time too, like five of cups here being a card of taking a look at the things you might have lost in the past. I think that what fuels you, Leo, I, I want to I wanna go out and say this. I think what's fueled you to have so much success is initial loss. You might have had a deep loss in the past, and it's caused you to always stay on top of things. And I think what you worry is getting back to that period of loss. It's like, I never want to go back there again. For example, let's say there was financial loss that happened to you many years ago. And that financial loss triggered within you this need to always have security financially to bust your ass. And now maybe you're taking some time off from work. Maybe you're getting less hours. Maybe you're having a kid and you need to spend more time at home. And it's like, it freaks me the fuck out that this is happening. But at the end of the day, I got stuff to handle other than my finances. But what are you worried of? Well, I told and I made a promise to myself that I was never going to be in that financial pitfall or downfall again, and I'm worried that that's going to happen now because I stopped grinding so hard or working so hard, you know? So I think that that's, what's, that's you know, what's initially triggered the fear. It was this feeling of loss, but I think that you're not recognizing what you're not focusing on, which is right behind you, these two of cups. You've already built abundance. You have built a feasible amount that is more than plentiful, that is more than enough to secure you, okay? So I feel like that's what you need to hear. You are safe, you are secure, don't worry. Knight of Wands, look in the other direction instead of the direction of fear, okay? All right, everybody, moving on forward, let's have a look here and see, Leo, what you need to hear right here and right now for May 2023. So what is it that Leos need to hear for May 2023? We have here loneliness. It says over here, I know that I am never alone, okay? So one thing I wanna mention for some Leos is that if you do feel like you're going through a period of loneliness, you may feel that other people do not understand you, that you're heavily misunderstood, or you may feel that you have nobody to reach out to or rely on, please note that there are people out there in the world. Never feel afraid to reach out to a friend, never feel afraid to reach out to a family member, to reach out to a therapist. You know, if you're in a space where you do feel alone, don't be uh, afraid to reach out. And another thing here too that I'm getting for you is also when you're in that energy of loneliness, it doesn't mean you're alone, right? And I think it's important too that if you feel like it's difficult to sit with yourself or it's difficult to enjoy the company of your own self, reassess your company. Because if a person can be happy within, them own, within their own selves and be happy within their own company, they're good company. So if you need to reassess the kind of company you are, I definitely feel, <clears throat> excuse me, I definitely feel that that can be most beneficial here at this time. But if you are in a space of loneliness, in a way, it's almost like figure out how you can be happy and content with your own energy. I think that if that's something you can learn and master, it's very, very awesome skill to have in life. But I think that the more you can master enjoying your own company, it's like the more you're going to notice that you need less and less of external things. OK, and you can rely more on yourself, too. All right. What else does Leo need to hear coming into May 2023? What other messages do Leo's need to hear? And we have here abundance. Like I said, it says I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I love this, guys. You know, the people that don't worry are the people that naturally don't have much that happens to them, right? 
Have you ever heard about how a doctor would be performing an operation and the person, the patient, very, very nervous, very scared, what does the doctor say to the patient? Do you see me nervous? Do you see how cool, calm, and collected I am? If I'm not nervous, you shouldn't be nervous, right? Have you ever seen that? I think that the more people can just know that they're going to be okay, the more that they know that they are a manifester, the more they know that their belief creates their reality, the more safe they're going to feel, the more content they're going to feel. You know, Leo, if you allow this Nine of Swords energy to keep on worrying you, this instability fear or this fear of no security at all, the more you allow that to keep manifesting, the more you're going to freak out. But the universe already says you're abundant already, you know? And this world and this life is based upon your belief system. So if you've seen abundance, then you are abundant because you've created it. So there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry. The abundance you have already lives within you. Okay? All right, guys. Beautiful. Let's see what's going on here for the rest of your May. All right? So what's going to be going on for Leos throughout the rest of their May 2023? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. First card out, Four of Swords. Next card out is going to be the Five of Swords. We have here the death, the moon, and we have here the chariot coming out as well. Hmm. So four of swords to the five. Four or five minus four is the ace. So ace of swords is the truth, right? I definitely feel like isolating yourself away from any sort of frustrations you've been having is all going to start by realizing the truth. I think you're going to start to recognize that I've been frustrated, but I've been frustrated because of this. Why? Well, I've been falling into fear, or I haven't been recognizing the abundance that I have, or I've been allowing other things to influence me to be in a state of panic or fear. You're recognizing what's been working against you. Whatever hasn't allowed you to already see how abundant you are, you're recognizing what that is. You're becoming aware and you're removing that from your life, which is beautiful. So throughout the rest of the May or throughout the rest of the May in general, you can expect to take a look and become aware of what is limiting me right now, what is holding me back, what is making me fearful. Once you become aware of it, cutting it out which is awesome, okay? Death card. So it's going to be death here to that situation. Now, moon card showing up to the chariot. Instead of using your emotions to kind of power the state of fear, it's like, let's use our emotions to power a beautiful and amazing future. Your emotions and your feelings are one of the most powerful assets that you have. The more you can put emotion into what you're doing, the higher of a probability you can manifest things. Emotions are very powerful. Have you ever been really angry, right, to the point where something just suddenly happened afterwards that wasn't so pleasant? That anger is a powerful emotion. Have you ever been so happy that not only have you influenced yourself, but you've influenced the people around you? Emotion not only moves the environment with you, but it can also manifest the same exact emotion that you're putting out. So keep in mind that your emotions are very powerful. I feel like many of you are redirecting your emotions here coming into May because the moon card here to the chariot is like, okay, let's start redirecting positive emotions for my future and keeping a positive mental and attitude so that I can have a positive outcome here overall, which is really, really great. Okay. Love it, Leo. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's have a look here real fast and see if the universe has any advice for you. And then we'll close out your reading. So is there any advice from the universe here for Leo throughout May, 2023? First card out, we got here the Six of Pentacles. Cool. Next card is going to be the Ten of Cups. And lastly for you, Ten of Swords coming into play here as well. Yeah, Leo, I really think that in terms of the Six of Pentacles here, this is the card of balance. Universe here says what you give is what you get. So always remember what you're putting in is what you're going to get back. All right. Don't, you know, go into this um, comfortable place this month and have a negative attitude about it. Just have a positive attitude about it. You're going to get positive vibes back. All right. Ten of cups here. Enjoy yourself. There is a lot of fulfillment this month. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have a lot of moments where you're going to be very close to family or very close to people you consider family. It seems like relationships and bonds are very strong this month for Leo. So really enjoy that as much as you can and have as much fun as you can with these amazing uh, bonds and stuff showing up here. For some of you, Ten of Cups is marriage. So if you've gotten married or are getting married in May, congratulations. Really enjoy this wonderful time with your partner. There's a lot of stress that can come after marriage, maybe paying off the wedding or moving in together or having kids. You know, these are things that can be incredibly stressful, but enjoy this marriage first. Enjoy coming together with your partner, right? If that's the case here for some of you Leos and ten of swords showing up here for you. You know, I think that what the universe is trying to say is inevitably everything comes to an end. 
You know, it's not just about all good things come to an end. Everything comes to an end, right? We all will come to an end at some point. And with that being said, life is meant to live. It's not meant to worry. It's not meant to stress. It's meant to be lived. So let yourself live. You know, you can't drive yourself nuts, guys. Universe is saying no point in doing that. Inevitably, everything will end. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So might as well live it up when the shit or when the things that we have going on in our life is good. When shit's great, we got to live it up, okay? That's what the universe is saying. All right? All right, Leo, what's the overall outcome for you, baby? For May 2023, what's well, going to be the overall outcome here for you? And what do we got? We got here the Six of Wands. Success. You're going to come out of this just fine. You really are, guys. Whatever kind of situation you're dealing with, whatever resting period you're dealing with, maybe you're pulling back more from work, maybe you're pulling back from friendships, or you're pulling back in general, just needing to refocus and recenter yourself, I feel like it's a good month right now to see a lot of abundance. Like, you've created so much already. I think a lot of you guys need a little bit of rest, though. I think you need to take a step back from working so hard and just enjoy yourself and enjoy what you've built. You've created a kingdom. It's time to rule, right? And I think that... As much as it may worry you, as much as you may fear losing this kingdom, if you're over, if you're already abundant and you've created all this abundance already, that means you're abundant, so you're not going to lose what you've created, okay? You can get back into creating and doing more in the future and working harder, but now is the time to enjoy the fruits of your labor, so enjoy it. Okay. All right, Leos. I love you very much. Thank you so much for coming out here to your May 2023 tarot reading. Thank you very much. If you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. I'd be more than happy to uh, welcome you here into the soul family, but have a lovely day. If you guys want to participate in that spring sale, definitely meet me on my website, cancermoonstarot.com. I'd be happy to meet you over there, but have a lovely May and I'll see you guys later. Take care, Leo and peace.